Ahoy Rum Explorers, I'm Nia and today we're exploring Virago Fort Port Rum out of Richmond, Virginia. So today we're going to talk a little bit about this distillery, our personal connection to this distillery as well as the review. So grab a drink and come plunder some rum with me. Got your drink? It's officially rum time. So today we're gonna to talk about Virago. They were established in 2019. They are a distillery out of Richmond, Virginia. I absolutely love the labeling on this bottle. It's quite intricate and beautifully made and done. There's a lot of like uh, silver elements. There's a lot of vintage uh, Art Nouveau style lettering. And the name Virago, as we recently found out from the team over at Virago, comes from Virginia and Chicago where both brothers are currently living, as well as it's the name of a historic woman with great strength. Now, an amazing thing is, yes, they were only established in 2019, but that same year they actually won gold medal at the World Beverage Competition. So an incredible thing about this distillery is that they distill in a 2,500 liter Charentez style Alembic still, one of the few operating in the US. So what is this kind of still, besides me putting a picture right here so you can look at it, it's beautiful. So as you can see, it has a gorgeous red coating on it, but on the inside, it's a copper still. Now it has an octagonal shape, which is quite interesting as well, but it is an ex-cognac type of still. So it was brought from cognac France over to Virginia so they can make their rum in different spirits. Now, as far as the distillation process, why it's also quite unique is that they use direct fire. Their distilling process is very low and slow, so it could take up to 48 hours. And they actually use glycol to chill the water. As far as the finishes, which I also absolutely love about this distillery, is that they finish their rums in not only ex-bourbon, but sherry, ruby sherry port uh, cask, Four casks and their recent release of the ex cognac cask so I'm gonna put all their information down below if you're interested in buying these amazing bottles they ship to most states which is incredible or if you do have an ABC liquor I actually found this bottle for $27 yes and wait till you hear all the things that are in this for $27 now the great thing about Virago is they're very, very transparent in everything they do with their spirits. Now for this particular bottle, they do disclose that there are um, rums from Barbados, an eight year, which I was told that was, that is a four square rum in here. So this is gonna be a blend, a beautiful, beautiful blend. So it's gonna be a rum from Barbados, eight years, a rum from Jamaica, four years, a uh, rum from Nicaragua between five and eight years, and they rum from Panama, and they rum from Panama that's six years old. Now, this is not only a blend of pot and column distilled rums for four different parts of the Caribbean, so this is their first release, but they are now making rum in house because they needed between four to six years to actually be able to produce their rum. So, there is a little bit of, I feel like, people underestimate the importance or the difficulty of blending, but it is actually quite complex because these are all spirits, but they could have chemical reactions between them as well. So we're gonna go ahead and try this. Ooh, that's a nice pop. It is an actual cork. It does have a wooden topper quite beautiful bottle by the way if you have this on your shelves it'll definitely attract people even before I knew about this company I had seen the labeling a couple times on ABC and had caught my eye I definitely had not buy, bought it because I was a little bit skeptical because it's so incredibly well priced now now we are friends with the people at Virago the team over there I do consider them 
Rum Diaries crew members. But in all honesty, this bottle I bought myself because I wanted to support them. I absolutely love what they do, but we were able to meet them when we went to Barbados, our Romalia trip. So if you have not seen those distillery tours and those videos, I'll put the card up above so you can definitely check it out. You'll probably see their team um, hanging out with us. We had a blast. But let's go ahead and try this one out. Now the color is quite light. Today I am using my rum taster glass. I'm gonna keep it nice and simple for our first um, year review. And to address the elephant in the room, I know, I'm sorry, I'm back in the kitchen for today, but guess what? We're still working on the studio space and I thought of the perfect name. So if you are here, you are, I will consider you a crew member, obviously. And if you have not hit that subscribe button, make sure you do so, so I can welcome you on board and you can also be a crew member. So the studio, which we're changing it to, it's gonna be our crew quarters. Isn't that exciting? If you're excited to see like previews of what we're doing thus far, go ahead and put a little comment or a request on the community tab, that would be awesome. So make sure you stay tuned for that because this whole background right here is gonna change. I'm very excited, but as everything, sometimes things take a little bit longer, but hopefully it'll be well worth the wait. And then everybody will have some quarters to come and hang out with and drink some rum. So, as you can see, it's quite a light rum, which I'm not surprised, because um, there's not a lot of aging in here, but it smells. So I do have the aroma kit today. I am smelling a little bit of fusel oil and leather, so I'm gonna bring those elements out. Fusel oil is gonna be number 11, and leather is gonna be number 12. So I'm gonna let this rest for a minute. I'm super excited next weekend. We will be heading to the Miami Rum Congress, our very first Rum Congress. I'm super excited. We're gonna be there Friday and Saturday. Friday is gonna be a day full of conferences. So if you would like to see the video, cause I am gonna try to videotape everything, including the grand tasting, which most of you will wanna see. I'll definitely um, recommend that you subscribe and that way you don't. Now, this is giving me a little bit of a nose of a four square, yes, but a little bit of Spanish style rums as well, which obviously with it having Panama and Nicaragua, I could definitely see where that's going to. There's not a lot of heat there. And let's try our first swig, cheers. Okay, so at first, you do get a little bit of licorice, but as it lingers, you get a little bit of white pepper on the back, which is quite incredible and quite surprising, which I didn't expect with a blend. It is a little bit on the hotter side, so I did get a tiny bit hug, not too much. This is 86 proof, so for an 86 proof, it's actually quite smooth. Um, Again, this bottle was $27, and this is incredible. Um, I typically do like spiced rums, and this is kind of giving me that spicy little peppery vibe at the end. Obviously not pepper because, oh, amazing thing about this company too, they don't do any additive. And then it, it, there's a little bit of oiliness at the top of my palate, which I actually quite enjoy, but there's not a lot of linger in the back. It's actually a pretty well-rounded rum, I'm very surprised that it's so spicy. I'm hoping as it ages, it'll smooth out a little bit more. I did get quite a little, quite a bit of licorice at the beginning, but not too bad. Um, I, I, I can definitely start seeing where you, you get that funky Jamaican note a little bit as well. So you can definitely differentiate all the different notes, which is quite interesting. 